Hello, in this video we'll discuss creating dashboards and widgets in the Fundraising Intelligence module. When creating a new dashboard, we suggest duplicating a similar template if one exists, but in this example, we'll create from a blank dashboard. To create a new dashboard, click the plus icon in the left panel and select New Dashboard. Next, we'll select the desired data cube and give this dashboard a name. Now, our dashboard is ready for the first widget. Widgets are charts or data tables. In this example, we'll add three widgets to cover some basic building concepts. We'll start by selecting data for the widget. Let's begin with the simple indicator chart to display the total donation amount. To do this, we'll search and select the data field, Donation Amount. When adding data, you can select how you want this data to appear and use pre-built statistical calculations like sum or median. In our example, we'll use donation amount sum. Great, we've got our first data point, but we can still improve this widget. To open the full widget editor, click Advanced Configuration. For now, we'll just change the number to display as currency. Now, we can save the widget. We'll create a few more widgets to add additional context, but first, Let's add a dashboard filter to limit the dashboard to a specific time frame. On the right panel, we can configure the dashboard filters. For this example, we'll add a filter for donation date of last year. It's important to note you can also add filters to each individual widget, which some strategies may require. Though, be aware, a widget filter will override a dashboard filter of the same type. OK, let's add a few more widgets to add context to this dashboard. To create a new widget, we can click Add Widget in the Dashboard top bar, or we can duplicate an existing widget. Let's duplicate this widget to start. For our next widget, let's add a graph to see donation amounts for each month of the year. On the left panel of the widget editor, we can configure the chart type. To see our total donation amount by month, we'll add donation date as a category, and group the dates by month. Now, we've got a graph that displays total donation amounts by month. Let's add one more widget to see the percent of these donations that are one-time or recurring. We'll start with a blank widget and add data points for donation amount and recurring status. We'll change this to a pie chart, and we can change the title for clarity. Now that we've got three widgets on the dashboard, we can rearrange and adjust the dashboard style. We can click and drag a widget to a new location, as well as resize widgets. It's easy to change the dashboard color theme by selecting the paintbrush icon in the top bar. And that's the basics. When you're satisfied with your dashboard, you can export the results to PDF or share this working dashboard with your team. You can learn more about exporting and sharing dashboards and widgets in another video. A lot can be accomplished with fundraising intelligence. This example just demonstrates a few concepts. Have fun.